Now, just on pandemic overreach and nutty bureaucrats and over-the-top politicians, some bad news for those of you who have followed the prognostications, dictatorial orders, mistakes and attention-seeking of our chief health officers across this nation during the pandemic. They all became household names. Some were better than others, but the most prominent of them haven't been so keen to show their faces lately. Remember Nicola Spurrier from South Australia? If you are at um, Adelaide Oval and the ball comes towards you, my um, advice to you is to duck and just do not touch that ball. Whenever a ball comes towards me, whatever sort of ball, whether it's a basketball or a football, my inclination is to duck. Regardless of COVID, this ball has been touched by many sweaty men out there on the field. Just go and sanitise your hands before you start eating your chips. Yes, Nicola, Professor of the Balls and the Ducking. She also shut down the state based on a ridiculous pizza box theory. Coronavirus, pick up or home delivery? Under the Liberals, with Spurrier holding sway, South Australia had closed borders and heavy restrictions on businesses, and all for next to nothing. But inexplicably, the new Labor Premier, Peter Malinowskis, who seems entirely more sensible on pandemic matters, well, he's just appointed Spurrier for another term, which might suit you down to the ground if you need someone to give you life advice for three more years. That we stay that 1.5 metres away from other people. Uh, and I can see actually a lot of you journalists are more than uh, really quite close in here today. And I'd like to see you a bit more spread out. Hang Those on things. A bit COVID. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do think it's possible, but uh, in this instance, I'm not particularly worried about the dog other than the fact that it's pregnant. Oh, it's so good to have the little jokes about the pregnant dogs while you're locking people down and closing state borders, isn't it? Look, the sooner these nanny state health bureaucrats get back to bullying families about what they can put in their kids' lunchboxes, and the sooner politicians stop deferring to them over border closures, business rules and lockdowns, the better.